Dehydration is one of civilization's oldest methods of food preservation. It works by removing moisture from food. Without that moisture, harmful bacteria and fungi just can't grow. Every year we dry herbs. Right now we have calendula. Can I pull this out? Oh yeah, of course, pull it out. Look how Look beautiful how it is. beautiful that is. It looks like saffron. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you use this for? Uh, I garnish it. I use it for uh, salts or sugar rubs or uh, teas or I use it for floral arrangements. A lot of different things. Beautiful. And then we have rosemary. Here we go. Beautiful. Rosemary from the garden. And you know, we'll make potpourri or, you know, it's just great to have dry herbs all year round. So these herbs are dried and it looks to me like all you've done is put them on a piece of paper on a rack in a room that's dry and Correct. a little bit warm. Yes with good air circulation. Correct. That's really all you need for dehydrating, right? Correct. And, and the point is that you have to have, you have to start with really good product. If you start with product that's not good, then you don't get the same kind of quality. It does take a long time. So how long, how long would this take? Uh, this takes like two months. Two months, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the flavor is great. That means the oils are still here. It's just mm -hmm. the water that's gone away. Correct. Wow. Because it's nice and slow. There are many ways to dehydrate food. You can dry them in the sun, you can smoke them, you can even dry them in the oven. When it comes to fresh chili peppers, Chef Denise likes to smoke them on the grill for five or 10 minutes. Then place them on a tray and put them in the gas oven. There, the heat from the pilot is enough to dry them overnight. The results are your classic dried chilies. Are you surprised by how easy this is? The ingredients are simple, the process is straightforward, and the results can feed you for a long, long time.